This is a quick video on how to use the APUS library. I know that a number of you are beginning to learn how to use the library, so I just wanted to give you a couple little tips to help you out. Now, I know a lot of you will probably go right into summons. This is this first opening page and enter in your search term. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that to show you something. So let's say that you wanna write on police officers, right? You click on search. And what's gonna happen is, because you have such a general search term, you're gonna pull up a ton of sources just on this topic, police officers. It's gonna take a little bit for it to load, but it's going to be a lot of sources that you may or may not want to use in your essay. So let's see if it's loaded yet. Okay, there we go. I pulled up 13 million, over 13 million sources, okay? That's too many sources for you to weed through to write an essay on. It's just a waste of your time. You need to narrow this down. So let's say you want to write about police officers, but you know what? You need to narrow it down. So your interest is tasers, the use of tasers with police officers. What you need to do is through summon, click on advanced search. Okay. So when you type in police officer, let's put in police officers again. You want to make sure it's in, it's a subject term. Okay. You don't want it in all the fields because then every article that has police officers in it will be pulled up. Instead, you just want it as a subject. And so let's go ahead and add another subject term, okay? And we're going to add, let's see, tasers. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the past five years. And then we're going to not exclude any of this, but possibly let's exclude book reviews because we don't need to write a paper on a book review that discusses police officers and tasers. That just seems silly. So <clears throat> let's click on that. Now you'll notice that this is a little easier to handle, right? Because you're just searching for a narrow subject. So now you only have three results. What's easy to write about? Three results or millions and millions of results? It's obvious that it's a lot easier just to write on a narrow search. Now I'm gonna show you something else. So let's go back to this again. Okay, so you wanna write on police officers. You also wanna write on tasers, but let's say that's not your main topic. So you can go ahead and put that in the abstract perhaps, because that's gonna, the abstract is a basic summary of a source and uh, it's not necessarily the main subject. The subject is super narrow. The abstract is a summary, so it's narrow, but it gives you more options. It might pull up more sources for you. So let's go ahead and do that. But let's say your teacher wanted you to use peer instructor wanted you to use peer review publications peer review publications are sources that are written by experts and have been checked for accuracy by experts in the field generally these are published through universities and journals so let's go ahead and see if we can pull up anything that discusses police officers and tasers in peer review journals again I see three here and that's because you were able to add the abstract. So you did narrow it by only calling up peer reviewed sources, but you also were able to pull up an additional source because you opened the search to abstracts as well for tasers. All right. So hopefully that helps you a little bit with summons. But another option that I tell students to try is to go into the APUS library but try going to, let's see if we can pull it up here. I'll just pull it up here. Instead of going to the general summon source, try going through the A through Z list. And I'll take a few moments to pull up. The A through Z list um, pulls up all the databases, but you can pull up specific ones that you might find most useful. So for example, <clears throat> abs academic search premier is a useful search. For students often another useful search for students is EBSCO database suite um, 
Nexus Uni is a useful one. It's formerly Nexus Lexus Nexus. I don't know if you've heard of that one before. But Nexus Uni, I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Um, is a useful source because it has a bunch of newspapers. So it's good if you need to find a specific, specific statistic or number, or if you need something that's a current event, information about a current event, Nexus Uni you might find most useful. The one that a lot of students use too, that like, that has a lot of useful sources for students at APUS would be ProQuest Database Suite. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up that one too. So basically, if you know of a particular database that you uh, find useful in terms of your career field or your studies, then the best way to pull up that database would not be through summons, it would be through the A through Z list. I forgot, I also think that Jane's Magazine is quite useful for those who are studying uh, Intel or something within the military. All right, so I'm gonna go back again though, and I wanna also show you a way to pull up databases would be through the subject. And um, that way, especially as a new student, you may not know what particular database would be most useful for you. So let's say you're going into English. Well, then you can look through here and you can find all the databases that you could use. JSTOR would be a useful one. Let's say you are going into something in intelligence or security, then this would be the area that you'd want to look. All right, so I'm going to go back to uh, ProQuest. What's great about ProQuest is that it will cite your sources for you. So I'm going to go and let's say I'm going to try advanced search to narrow it down a little bit. And then I'm going to go to police officers. And I'm gonna say that in, let's see, I don't want it in the publication title. I'm gonna go into the abstract. And I'm gonna do the same thing with tasers. And I want that in the abstract. I definitely want full text because what's the point, right? If you can't read it. I'm gonna also click on peer reviewed and see if anything comes up. And I'm actually not sure if anything will, but let's go ahead and check it out and see. And yes, I found seven sources through ProQuest as opposed to Summon or only found three. So sometimes it's a little more useful when you go to the particular database to find your sources. So I'm going to click on the first title, Assessment of People Who Have Been Tased. And there's the abstract. Reading the abstract first will help me get a general idea of what the article is about. Here's the full text. You can't cite from the abstract in your essay because it most likely wasn't written by the author, but you should cite from the actual text. So read the abstract to give you an idea of what the article is about, but definitely cite from the full text and you need to actually read it if you're gonna use it in your essay. Lots of students don't read the text, they should. Um, I'm gonna click on the cite button just to show you. This is APA, but you can also cite using different styles just by changing the style. For example, this is MLA. I'm going to change it to Arabian. This is for the reference list. This is to Arabian. All right, so you can cite your article using the cite link through ProQuest. Also, Academic Search Complete and EBSCO has it as well. Now, I wanted to give you another quick tip before I close off here. When you do your searches, make sure to save the citation and the abstract in a Word document for yourself, or at least email you email yourself the text of the articles that you're using. Because oftentimes you'll write your essay and you'll you'll have all these sources, but then you'll forget what one source said about something or how to access that source again or how to cite the source. It's really important to save your work. I've been there, I've done that, I've lost all my sources. Don't be me. Save your sources in a Word document and at the very least save the citation and the abstract in a Word document and just have all the abstracts and citations in that document. I hope this helped a little bit. I know it can be confusing, especially when this is your first time researching. Please let me know about any questions you have in the open forum or in any message that you would like to send to me. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.